to go like this. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. There's a truck going by. So today's video is going to be all about skincare that have been loving. When it comes to makeup, I don't really switch. Like I don't really try that much new, but when it comes to skincare, I'm always trying something new. And Japanese products, a lot of drugstore ones, I try out like constantly and I sprinkle in some western drugstore ones too. That being said, I hope that this video is not too too long, but uh, grab a snack or boba. I always feel bad like if I drink or eat something in front of you guys, I can't really like offer it to you like physically. But yeah, I uh, just grab something and let's get into the products. So the first one I'm going to start out with is a Japanese drugstore product and it's not really skincare, but it's a tool, a very important tool. So this is a cleansing uh, foam soap net. And what it's actually made for is that you put a bar of soap in here and you leave it in your shower and you can use it kind of like a loofah and it makes a really lathery rich foam. I don't use it for that purpose. I use it for my facial cleansers and I know that there's one specifically made for facial cleansers, but I honestly just buy this at the store i go to because it's the cheapest it's only 2.99 uh there's some more fancy ones that go up to six bucks but this one works perfectly fine and i like how it has this little rubber handle so i can hang it in my shower and it can completely dry and i do still like i mentioned use a facial brush this is also from the japanese drugstore the reason i like them the best is because they're nice and soft but i don't rely on this to use with my cleansers to make such a lathery foam i feel like you get the best use out of cleansers in general if you use one of these nets just because of how much bubbles and foam it makes and i feel like you can get the ingredients of the cleanser better to work into your skin so once i make the foam with this i just like squeeze out all the foam apply it to my face i don't even feel like i need to go in with this brush sometimes just because the foam itself is just so lathery already and it's really clean my skin um it's not like if i went straight took the foam cleanser put it onto my skin and then rubbed it around with this brush it wouldn't work as much you need those bubbles in that foam cleanser so the net really comes in handy um, but i still do use this just really use it as like a second pair of hands i guess to kind of get better into like my pores but i don't rely on this so i have this one i've been using this and of course like loofahs you have to replace it because it gets wet and you know there's soap in it and everything so i do have a backup I always have a backup of it. Okay, now speaking of cleansers or that topic in general, I do have a few that I've been rotating through and I really, really like. Now, if I do try brands and I really like the product, I'll try within that brand the other types of products. The Garnier or the Garnier Green Labs brands. Now, I've mentioned this cleanser before. This is the Hydro Melon Hyaluronic Acid watermelon milky cleanser it doesn't have like a clear consistency when you lather it it's more of like a cream and i've been using this in the morning and i do feel like it hydrates your skin when i was traveling this was my morning cleanser that i brought and it's my skin loved it because it has hyaluronic acid and it didn't dry out my skin in the morning time i was not expecting much from the garden a green labs line but it's actually a really good line within drugstore skincare so since i like this cleanser so much i felt like it was worth it to try out the other ones so so the one that I have been trying out and then I have also been pleasantly surprised is their brightening gel wash. I don't really look to it as what the package says, like it helps dull and uneven skin. I don't rely on vitamin C to do that. But with that being said, I do like this as a gel cleanser. The consistency of it is not slimy. It's a smooth cooling gel cleanser. It's easy to wash off. There's no like lingering type feeling. The pineapple scent of it is not overpowering. So it does really wake you up with cold water. So it's one of the only gel cleansers I've found that is scented and that also has vitamin C in it that doesn't irritate skin. And it's just like a refreshing type cleanser in the morning. Moving on to the more important type cleansers, which is the night cleansers that I use with my lovely little foamy net net so this one is by the creme shop so this is a korean skincare brand you can find it in cvs and then i have actually even seen this in marshall's and tj maxx sold for really cheap so it's under five dollars but these are great great foam cleansers the double cleanse two in one clarifying main ingredients are witch hazel lemon and green tea the reason it says two in one is it's supposed to be a double cleanse in one i don't rely on this as a double cleanse i always do the oil cleanse before and then go in with a foam cleanser um, but if you're in a rush, I guess the concept was supposed to be like it takes the place of two steps. 
With that being said, the formula of these cleansers are so nice and they foam up so well and they don't dry the skin, they don't strip it. So just like the Garnier Green Labs one, the reason why I started to use and pick up this one was because I really liked and used all last month. This one has rose water, pomegranate, and lotus flower and it's supposed to be for like sensitive skin. The rose water is supposed to calm down your skin and I really like this. I felt like it cleaned my skin well, again didn't dry it out and I love the scent of it. So since I was almost out of this one, I started to try out the different formula of this. I find the cleansing power of this one from the creme shop is very similar to the Perfect Whip uh, Chiseido one, the Japanese drugstore one. And I was using this like off and on to really deeply cleanse my skin. But this ingredients are very harsh and it does really make your skin super dry. It's just, it's okay to use like or once a week I feel, but it's not something you can use every day. But I really like cleansing power of this. It really does take everything off and cleans the pores. Um, so this one I feel like is almost a gentler alternative. It has the cleansing power of the perfect whip, but it's much more gentle, especially for sensitive skin and dry skin. So if you do like this one, I'd recommend checking out the Creme Shop. Moving on to a skincare product for the body. This is also a Japanese drugstore product. It's called the Pelican Hip Care Soap. So it's the bottom scrub soap. And it comes in a packaging that looks like this. And this is what the soap is just kind of wet from last night. Uh, looks like, so it's a cute heart-shaped soap and it does smell like peach. It smells like very fruity. And what it's supposed to do is it's supposed to be a bar soap that helps to exfoliate the skin. So if you ever seen the Dove bar soap, the exfoliating one, it's like the same concept. It has little tiny beads in it. So you can use it on your they say the hips, but it's obviously not just for the hips. Use it on your legs, uh, your knees, your arms, um, and it's supposed to just gently exfoliate. But it is a little bit gentler than the Dove Exfoliating Bar Soap. Um, the beads in it too aren't as rough. So there is a little physical exfoliator grains in it, but they're very fine. So once you wet it, you start to work it into your skin, um, it's not so scratching. And then the soap part of it itself, once you get it, kind of wet i'll show you because it's been on like the wet side it is very creamy so compared to like the standard soaps it is a lot more creamy and hydrating and i feel like it doesn't dry out the skin as much uh the formula almost like a body wash or a body cream so this is a really cute little soap that really does help and um i don't use it every single day it's not like a soap i clean myself with like I clean my body with um it's just so to use to just kind of like buff away some dead skin cells it smells cute really cute exfoliating bar soap this one i've been using every single night this is the clear skin industry eight percent aha essence so what this is is a mild exfoliator to help brighten the skin and help shrink the pores so what you do is after you've cleansed your skin at nighttime pat in a layer of this like an essence and over time the more you use it it's supposed to work off those dead skin cells gently and then mildly peel the skin making it overall brighter more luminous complexion. With my skincare routines, I have a lot of hydration in it and a lot of anti-aging uh, steps in it, but I need something just because my skin still does get oily in the T-zone and you know, those dead skin and sebum really do build up, especially if I'm not using a chemical exfoliator. I need a layer of skincare to really help kind of like dry up that sebum. And this is where this essence comes through. So I have tried the Innis Tree uh, BHA essence, that one's really good too. I use that one with a cotton pad, but with this one, I just pat it in. It's really good. I switch back and forth. Once I've used this whole bottle, I'll switch back to the BHA, um, but I never use them together, just one at a time. So, so it's not really skincare, but I need to throw this in because if you are looking for a really good makeup remover, it's a really good gentle standard makeup remover that doesn't irritate the skin if you don't wash it right away. So with that being said, I reach for this one before I go to the gym. So say I have makeup on for my everyday routine, I take off my lashes and I don't want to wear to the gym my blush and my eyeliner and all that, and I want to remove it. Um, but sometimes I found with makeup removers, once I started to remove the makeup, I'd have to cleanse my skin and, you know, do my skincare over and put moisturizer and everything just because the makeup removers would irritate my skin, dry it out, and I have to wash that layer off. With this one, it's really convenient because you can just put a little bit, wipe down your skin with a tissue, and it takes off that first layer of makeup, but I don't feel like my skin needs to be washed that second which I know, you know, sometimes it's not good. Like you don't cleanse your skin before you exercise. You know, if I'm in a rush, I just wanna take that first layer of makeup off. 
I go exercise right away after I take a shower and then I really thoroughly cleanse my skin. When you're in a rush, sometimes you just want something to wipe off the makeup really quick and not have to do that full routine. And also it's like, why wouldn't you just wipe down your skin with a makeup wipe and then just be on your way? But I've I've done that before too, but I found that once I wipe my skin down with a makeup wipe, I have to oil cleanse it after. Makeup wipes are super drying to the skin. They mess up the pH balance. Uh, I'm not saying I don't use them. I sometimes still use them, especially if I have heavy makeup on, um, but I don't like to use them on their own. So any type of makeup remover or makeup wipes that I find myself using, I use an oil cleanser right after. This is the only makeup remover I have found that you can use on the go. No coloring, no additives, no mineral oils. So so it's a really good, just simple, closest thing I found to a skin conditioner, makeup remover, water. Last thing that I wanted to mention is a Japanese drugstore sheet mask. Now this is a brand or the type, um, it comes in these packaging with this color and then it has like a vegetable on the front of it that describes what ingredient is in the sheet mask. So this one in particular is a potato sheet mask. Or Japanese potato sheet mask and it's an award-winning Japanese sheet mask but I haven't been able to find it at the store that I get my skincare from um, but finally they had it and I was like okay you know what now I'm gonna try it the package of 10 um, it was on sale for $7.99 what lately I've been doing before my swasul routine at night um, I do the 10 steps still so after I've cleansed I go in with hit it with some AHA to get off all the dead stuff and then I'll lock in my moisture with a sheet mask. The tail in this is so natural feeling and the cooling effects of it, especially if you put it in the fridge, you even feel the package. Usually when I put like my Lululemon sheet mask in, it gets warm so quick. But since this has a potato ingredient in it, I feel like it just, it stays nice and cool. So on your face, such a cooling sensation. Doesn't have a sticky essence. It's more of a slimy type texture. I've kind of like stepped away from the Korean individual sheet masks. I do those a lot in the winter time when it's like really drying out. And now that I have switched at night, cause I used to just do it in the morning to Japanese package sheet masks, they're a much better deal. And I like to use a sheet mask in a row at least five times to know if the essence actually really works. Um, so these packages are great. So if you do find this brand at the store or anything and you see these vegetables on the package, Package, uh, pick one up because they're definitely worth it um, especially if you're into sheet masks and to use them consistently uh, they're really good now my skincare that I have been loving I know a bunch of little random things but I wanted to just put it into a video so you know I could tell you guys what's up what's been really good hopefully you find something that you want to try out if you do have any questions let me know in the comments and if you do like these videos give it a thumbs up I can try to do them every so often so then i can just start uh, to do these consistently and i can just collectively put all of the new skincare i've been loving because you know i try it out like i said makeup i don't really change but skincare always in rotation with so with that being said don't forget to subscribe for more skincare videos and i will see you in my next one bye